In this video, we'll look at ways of finding table column names from any SQL Server database. There are a few different ways of doing this. Uh, let's look at three of the most common ways. So here I'm in the AdventureWorks sample SQL Server database and I want to find the column names in the address table. So to do this programmatically, you can query sp underscore columns and in single quotes put in the table name. And so here you can see we have a list of all of the columns in the address table. And just to check, they are the same as shown in the uh, Management Studio window. You can, uh, there is also some additional data here. One column is useful is underscore nullable. You can see that some of the columns allow nulls and others don't. There is another way to find a list of all the columns in a particular table. This time we can query the syscolumns table. So as you can see there are nearly 2000 rows here and we need to just find the things for our object ID. So object ID can reference the tables. So to find the object ID of the address table, we can run this query. This query looks in the sys.tables table and it will return an object ID. So here the object ID is this. So now if we do select star from sys, dot columns where object underscore ID equals this. Now we just find the column names and other properties for the address table columns. And there appears to be a bit more data here, although you might not need most of it. So that was another way of doing it using sys columns and sys tables. Incidentally, sys.tables, if you just do that with no where clause, you retrieve a list of all of the tables in the database. I must just quickly mention there is an all underscore columns table as well. If you want to get any information about system tables, then you can do this. And as you can see, there are over 11,000 rows here, but this one is uh, similar to sys.columns, but it just returns data about system tables as well. The final way to find a list of columns in a SQL Server database table is to query information underscore schema. And there's a schema.columns and if you put in a table name corresponds to this and you can find a list of columns i'm not a huge fan of this method because it doesn't return as much information about a table as the others uh, you might prefer it though because it's fairly straightforward and simple so those were three ways of finding the table column names from a SQL Server table. Which one you use is entirely up to you. Just bear in mind that if they don't return anything or you get an error, then check the permissions on the database user you're using. You will need some privileges in order to be able to run these system stored procedures. Thanks for watching.